Total darkness. Night vision. Total darkness. Night vision. Well, good morning. Today we're taking a look at the Dassun NV2 night vision goggles. Back in April I did a comprehensive and lengthy test on the NV1 night vision goggles by Dassun. And, uh, you know, these are the top of the line ones. Uh, they cost almost, uh, you know, almost twice as much as the NV2. And uh, they're similar in size. Of course, the NV1 just has more features and uh, more options and a little more power. But the uh, NV2 uh, sort of uh, budget uh, night vision goggles, if you will. I mean, back in the day, not too long ago, these night vision goggles were out of reach from almost anybody. These now are selling in the low hundreds, and sometimes you can get deals and even lower than that. So it's a tremendous uh, deal on a, something that's really a lot of fun and a lot of powerful use for nature lovers. So you can see the difference between uh, this one and the NV1, which is just a little more streamlined, a little better optics, a little better uh, you know, quality imagery. But in reality, this thing does really well, and I'll show you a whole bunch of examples. I mean, this is perfectly fine for what you're using a night vision goggle for. I mean, they're just a lot of fun in your backyard. If you're looking at birds and wildlife at night, you can spot owls and uh, all the various animals that are running around at night. Great if you're camping or just out on vacation and uh, sightseeing. You know, and when the sun goes down, there's not much to see uh, out uh, in the national parks and things like that. But if you have the night vision goggles and uh, out in the out in nature, you can still uh, uh, look around and see what's going on. It's a lot of fun. It's basically just adds uh, more nightlife to your outdoor activity. And as you can see in the examples I'll show, it'll just turn total darkness into uh, daytime. You can see really clearly, and it's pretty uh, pretty impressive, pretty fun. Now this NV2 by Dassun is is real uh, simple. It has six buttons. Uh, and I'll go through the menus briefly, I won't belabor that. Runs on six AA batteries instead of the NV1's eight AA batteries. And uh, also as in the uh, NV1, you can power it with a uh, power cord like my little anchor that I always carry around for emergencies. It'll run directly off of a USB power bank even with the batteries removed. So. You know, it has a, a tripod amount, just like the uh, other one. Fun to use like binoculars, but if you're going to watch a certain area or you know where there's going to be some action, uh, for a number of reasons you might want to put it on a tripod, and it really lends itself on a tripod to a power pack. The other thing about this, just the same as the um, NV1, is once you uh, turn on the video, it'll just record video and continuously until either the card fills up or the power pack runs out of batteries, which in this case would be you know, three or four hours probably. So uh, it holds a 32 gigabyte, uh, up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, and the micro SD card is included in the box. That's a nice touch. I mean, <laughs> you're not paying that much to, for the binoculars to begin with, and you get an SD card. So let's go over the uh, details real quick. You've got your uh, night vision 850 nanometer uh, power source over here and then you've got your optical source over here and you just focus it uh, here fairly simple a little less sophisticated focusing mechanism than the more expensive thing but it works fine and then you've got your buttons for uh, IR up and down turning the IR on then you have your button six buttons real simple turn the IR button here and then you uh, can increase the IR level up to seven and then back to visible. And how, how much, uh, and of course that's basically the intensity of the IR light from one to seven. And if you have a full battery pack, you can get the full seven, but as the batteries run down, you might, not, might get less uh, power. And also if you hold this down, this will be your zoom in and your zoom out button, menu button, power button, and your mode button, and then the shot button. If you want to switch to IR, you give it one click up here and you're in IR mode and you can go through your seven IR positions. Six, seven, and back to visible. Obviously at the highest intensity of IR, you're gonna use your batteries faster. 
but you can don't have to spend a lot of money on batteries you can use a power pack like this if you have a USB power pack and a long cable you can set this in your pocket and run the cable up to your binoculars and you never have to buy batteries so you know that's the one thing uh, that I don't like to do anymore is buy batteries so and you go in here and you got you simply uh, have your uh, zoom in and it'll go up to four power zoom and zoom out back to zero so uh, let's go through the menu this is your menu button here and if you hold the menu button long you'll get the green screen if you hold it long again you'll get sort of a a, a red screen hold it long one more time you'll be back to normal you give the menu button one press and you're in the menu uh, photo resolution you execute the selection by hitting the shot button and you use your up and down button you've got three megapixels uh, is your maximum resolution and then you've got uh, video resolution which is up to 1080p I believe it's 1444 by 1080p and that's pretty impressive for a real budget priced uh, night vision binoculars you can adjust the uh, sensitivity low medium or high I always keep it on high for general principles uh, language setting date setting real simple to set the date and I won't belabor that point auto power and off you set how long you want it to stay on I have it set at the default of 10 minutes frequency in 60 megahertz works fine for me uh, data label if you want to label on or off your uh, videos or pictures I generally uh, when I'm testing it I leave that on format you know you always want to put in your uh, card and format it right away and start off with a fresh card reset the factory settings uh, version and screen brightness you know it's important to be able to uh, adjust your screen bright brightness because uh, when you're using these night vision binoculars out in the, the total darkness in your backyard or out in the nature or whatever you know if you set the uh, brightness too high on these it's going to blow out your night vision so uh, you know that's the one thing you know you, you get out and you you can adjust your eyes to the night but when you use these binoculars you can see at night almost like daytime yeah, but then when you take the binoculars down from your eye uh, it's going to take your eyes a little longer to readjust to the total darkness so that's it real simple menu quick click and you're back in business really a lot of fun to use very effective they're not expensive uh, maybe they don't have a lot of bells and whistles like some of the higher end ones and if you want to have more fun with your uh, nature nightlife this is the way to get in jump into something a lot of fun for uh, not very much money and you know every night when I go out on the backyard I always just take these out and uh, you know do a scan and just see what's going on keep an eye on the screech owls and the uh, various other creatures that are out there and they're advertised as a maximum distance of 300 meters you know I haven't verified uh, that there could go a full 300 meters which is roughly a thousand feet but certainly uh, I can look out in the forest and see trees you know football field away and see up into detail with the leaves and things like that with no problem but I think for most people's uses a couple of hundred yards is uh, fine so just to quickly summarize they feel good in the hands they, they uh, have a nice feel to them the buttons are real handy uh, real simple they're relatively lightweight weigh about a pound and a quarter I think uh, comes with a you know the neck strap it's not a, a real fancy neck strap but again these are a budget pair of uh, night vision binoculars and really uh, they're when you look actually look through them they may not have all the bells and whistles of the more expensive kind but for general backyard use and general camping or out in the uh, woods use uh, they work fine and uh, really quite bright and uh, powerful and they give pretty good results the NV2 night vision binoculars have four power digital zoom which allows you to focus in on a subject day or night of course the imagery gets grainy at maximum zoom especially at night and it is harder to hold still on a small target to get good pictures or video when zoom way in the quality of the daytime imagery depends a lot on whether you have sun glare or not. These night vision binoculars are not really meant to replace a nice pair of traditional optical binoculars or a super zoom camera in daytime. 
These are really meant for nighttime. I noticed several giant slugs on the ground in the Great Smoky Mountains. Here I have cropped way in and sped the video way up since slugs are really slow. It's interesting that the raccoon that arrives and puts its foot on the slug has absolutely no interest in eating the slug, illustrating that even raccoons have their culinary standards. I had a nice encounter with the tree climbing white breasted nuthatch. As you can see, it's difficult to hold any binocular steady when zoom way in and close to your subject.